Let's create a pipeline project in Jenkins. This will be like our other jobs that we've created, except that we'll be able to break it up into stages so it has a logical flow. In addition, we'll define how that flow progresses using our configuration code. This way, we can use source control and other tools to keep track of our build process. Let's click New Item, and we'll name it Test Pipeline. And for item type, we'll choose pipeline and OK. You can scroll to the bottom or click the pipeline tab. And we'll be in the pipeline section of our configuration. We'll start by adding the outline to our pipeline script. We'll specify which agents to use. In this case, we'll use any. But the key is to make sure whatever agents you use can run the commands in your scripts. This may mean They'll need a specific version of Python or whatever language you're using in your code. It may also mean that they need the build tools and Git installed on them. So that's just something to watch out for. Then we'll create our stages section. The first stage we'll create is our build stage. Inside of a stage, we can add different steps. And each step can have commands to run in it. We'll be using a real simple approach here where we just pass a command to the shell of our agent. In this example, we'll be running a Git clone of our pineapple project. Click Save to save our changes. And we can go ahead and build now. And we can see that our build step completed. We can see the output by clicking on the build number, then console output. This shows us what commands were run in our job. Let's log in to our Jenkins agent and verify that we downloaded the Git repository successfully. First, let's SSH into our Jenkins agent. If you haven't already, install the Python module, PyTest, and setup tools. Now let's look at the content of our test pipeline workspace. And we can see that the pineapple project directory has been downloaded there. This is the default location where any actions you take in your pipeline will be stored. This is great because we can use this path in our other stages. So back in our test pipeline configuration, let's go ahead and add another stage. After the build stage, we'll add the test stage. And this will run Python 3 to invoke PyTest. And it'll run all the tests on our test underscore sample file. Another principle we want to apply to these steps is to make them item potent. We don't want anything from our previous builds to interfere with the current build. And since we know we're modifying things in our workspace, let's go ahead and add a step that cleans it up before we do our git clone. So we'll use the ws cleanup command. This is our first example of using a plugin. And this plugin cleans up our workspace for us. So let's go ahead and save it and run this again. Now we can see that our output has two different phases, the build and the test phase. If the build step fails, the test step won't even be attempted. Let's look at our output. If we scroll to the bottom, we can see our unit tests that passed. Terrific, we're making great progress. The last thing we're gonna do with our pipeline is add a step to package our Python application, and then we're gonna copy it to a remote server. We'll do this in our final step called deploy. To copy our packaged Python file to our web server, we'll use the SSH protocol, which means we want to create an SSH key. So before we get any further, let's go ahead and create that key. While still SSH into our Jenkins agent, we'll switch user to the Jenkins user. Next, we'll use the SSH key gen tool to generate an RSA key. We'll use the default location to store our RSA key, and we'll give it a secure passphrase. If we view the contents of our SSH file, and if we look at the RSA keys in our SSH directory, we can see that we have a private and a public key. On my web application server, I've already created a user named Jenkins. So we'll use the SSH copy command to copy over our key. 
and we'll have to enter our passphrase. With our SSH key copied over, we can now test that we can SSH into our web application server with the Jenkins user using that RSA key. Great, Ray will log in. That confirms that our SSH key is working and that there's network connectivity between the two servers. Next, we'll go back to the Jenkins web interface and configure our plugin. Go to Manage Jenkins, and then Manage Plugins. On the Available tab, you can see a list of all the plugins available to be installed on your system. There's lots of plugins available, and they can really save you a lot of time. We're going to be using the Publish SSH plugin. I'll search for SSH, and the first result is Publish over SSH. I'll check it and install it with a reboot. After the reboot, I can go to Manage Jenkins and Configure System. And if I scroll down, I see there's now a Publish over SSH section. So the easiest way to configure this is to enter in my key here. I'll also add my passphrase. Below the key, I can give my server name a friendly name and use the actual host name of the machine. Finally, I'll identify the username we'll be logging in with, which we created the username Jenkins. Now let's test our configuration, and we can see that we had success. Let's save our changes and go back to configuring our test pipeline job. Before we can add our deploy stage, we'll want an artifact to be able to copy. So let's do that in our build stage. We'll add another shell step to our build stage. And this will run the Python setup pi build script that we've created. This will package up our Pineapple Python project and make it ready for distribution. And a packaged ready for distribution product is exactly what we call an artifact of a build step. With that step complete, we can go ahead and create our deploy stage. Having plugins to use in our pipeline is great, but it's also really hard to remember the syntax for each individual plugin. Luckily, with Jenkins, we can use some code generation. Let's click on Pipeline Syntax. And on the sample step, click the drop down, and then type SSH. And we can see there's an SSH publisher example. Let's click it. We'll be pushing to the default web server that we defined earlier, so we just need to enter the source files path. Pi Setup Tools automatically puts a directory in build lib inside of our root. So that's what we'll copy over. We'll scroll down and click Generate Pipeline Script. We can copy this and go back. And now we use the pasted output in our deploy stage. Click Save. Then we'll click Build Now. Awesome, we see we have green for all three stages. Let's look at the output. If we scroll to the bottom, we can see that our test succeeded, but zero files were transferred. So we need to get to the bottom of this. I was able to find my mistake. When copying recursively using this plugin, you'll want to use wildcards. Let me show you. Pipeline, the deploy statement. At the end of our source path, we'll add wildcard, forward slash wildcard. Save our changes, and build again. Now let's SSH into our web server to make sure our artifact was copied successfully. So we're back on our web server, and we can see in the home directory of the Jenkins user, the pineapple project directory is there. And the contents are copied as well. Congratulations, we've created code release pipeline with Jenkins. Thank you for watching.